Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. So last week I forgot to save the spreadsheet before um, I closed out my computer, and I didn't really think there was a big deal about it. it didn't make a didn't really bother me too much because I have Excel set up where it saves allegedly every five minutes. But what was returned to me was not exactly. I think it was like mid project, so. <laughs> I kind of lost what I had and then I recreated it and I was like, you know what, I did this so quick, why don't I just do this as a YouTube video. So basically what we're doing is we're kind of, I wanted to randomize the data to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, ideally, I would give higher weight to some of the common last names like Smith, Johnson and Williams and Brown and Jones. Um, might do that later on, but at this point, if I can make it, uh, you know, this randomized, I think it would just look a lot better and it would be a lot more realistic. And how we did this is we had two columns, one for males and one for females. And then I used two functions. One was the index function, hit tab, and um, I'm going to look at the sheet called names. And I'm going to look at row A. And then we're going to need our row number. And that is going to be the RAM between. Actually, now that I think about this, let me go in here and, and make sure that this is correct. So it's A3 through a1003 and then we're going to do rand between tab and 31003 so it's going to choose that row a random row between a3 and 1003 on and give us a male first name all right and rand between is closed index is closed Let's put our space in for between the first and last name. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this for the last name. And the last names are in, if you look over here, I'm missing my eye. If you look over here, the last names are in column C. So I just need to change this to C this to see and that should be good and hit the check mark here and there goes our first male name let's um you know you could have just got all these on the internet real easy a hundred of them real easy on the internet so let's do a hundred and let's, let's go more than 100 I'm just gonna okay so 115 there we go and look at this so here we're having some issues and here we're having some issues and I wasn't having these issues last time um, okay, oh, back to the absolute uh, reference. Okay, and this is looking at A1010, so that's why we might be getting blanks. Okay, so that that's probably the reason why we might have had errors before. All right, no problem. So absolute reference, um, let's go all the way back up to the A cell here. Uh, let's get out of here. All right, so I clicked X because sometimes you get in a formula cell, it'll complicate things. Okay, so we're going to do absolute A, absolute 3, and then absolute A, absolute 1003. There we go. Absolute C, absolute 3, absolute C, absolute 1003. Okay, so what was happening, let me save that enter I'm gonna actually hit save all right so what was happening is this was this was changing from started at three then went to four then went to five then went to six so basically what was ended up what ended up happening was it wasn't looking at those first three names like this cell right here would not look at the first three names and then there would be three rows where there wasn't any information so if ran between um, gave me well it, it I think the last name would be fine, but then we would miss the first name. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click on this, and then this will drop it all down. And 
All right, so then I dropped it all down, and there we go. Everything looks good. Um, these are all looking at three A3 through 1003 on the index. Um, and the last names are also correct as well. So when we got over here to last names, it wasn't looking at those fir first three last names. Or even more, depending on, once we got down here, it wasn't looking at the first 100. You know, down 52, we weren't looking at the first 52. All right, so let's fix. That's probably what the error was to begin with. Uh, for females, it's real simple. All we got to do is just take this formula right here, copy it, scroll up to B2 here. Uh, let's get out of the formula bar. Scroll up to B2, click that, control V, and then we just need to use the female's first names. So we're going to do uh, shift uh, capital B here, B there, and that should be good. And there's our females, and double click on that handlebar and brings it all the way down. And there we are from where we were last time. So now, and I think I, I figured out what the error was, why we were having those reference errors way back on the first project. Now I'm going to click save. All right. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have more information or you have questions or something like that, go ahead and leave some comments. And thank you so much for watching. You have a good one and uh, take it easy.